Hello, Plutus, do you know how does a sundial work? A sundial? No, I have no idea. Can you tell me, Atticus? Let me start with the apparent motion of the sun. Because of the tilted axis of rotation of the Earth around the sun in an ecliptic orbit, only between the latitude, 23 degree 26 minutes, north and south, one can see the sun at the zenith. Yes, I know about latitude. In fact, one degree of latitude represents about 111.11 kilometers on the ground. Good Plutos. Now let's zoom out and talk about the concept of the celestial sphere, which is useful for the observer on the Earth, who perceives the Earth as motionless, but heavenly bodies like the Sun and stars are traveling from east to west. I see, Atticus. So from the observer on Earth, the Sun is traveling on a great circle on this celestial sphere. One circle over one year's period of time. You were right. To be exact, the mean interval between two passages of the Sun through the vernal equinox is known as the tropic year, its current value being 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes and 45 seconds. The Sun's path on the celestial sphere is called ecliptic. The inclination of the ecliptic relative to the celestial equator is known as the obliquity of the ecliptic. At present, the value is 23 degree, 26 minutes. It is decreasing by about one minute per century. Precisely. So we have the dates for spring equinox, summer solstice, autumnal equinox, and winter solstice. Good. Now let's talk about the diurnal motion of the sun, which is independent of its annual motion. Cool, Atticus. Hold on. Hello, Mom. Okay, I will be right back. I am going home for lunch. Let's continue the topic on the sundial later. Okay, Plutos. See you later.